The Canon R5 and the Canon R6 have been out on the market for a number of years now, and it's taken these companies a sweet ass time to create a third party battery grip for these cameras. But lo and behold, a few months ago, we started seeing them on the market on eBay, on Amazon, and uh, I picked one up myself. This one was from eBay. It was about $130, give or take Canadian, which is basically about one third of the price of the official Canon one. This is the box that it ships in, no branding whatsoever. There's just this guy that's really close to the camera uh, and it just says battery grip on it. Uh, on the side it says it fits the Canon R5, the Canon R6, and the R5C. I'm pretty sure it fits the R6 Mark II as well. Can't say for sure, it's not on the box, but uh, it's the same grip. But the big question is, is this any good? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. My very first experience with a mirrorless third-party battery grip was for the Panasonic GH5, which is a camera I've sold and I kind of regret selling it, but that's a different topic for a different time. But that first mirrorless battery grip was from a third-party company called, I think DTSE or DSTE. They make a lot of third-party batteries for cameras. They made that grip for the GH5. I've used it and when I took a photo, the camera would lock up. I couldn't do anything unresponsive and it would make this really high pitched squeaking sound, which was horrifying. And the only way to, um, you know, basically shut it down was to take the battery out and put it back in and essentially reset the camera. So that was a kind of a horrifying experience. And uh, ever since then, I've been, you know, kind of iffy about third party battery grips. And I think that's the reason why these third party companies took so long to create a battery grip for the R5 and R5C and R6, maybe because mirrorless cameras, they realized have more components to them, it took them longer to reverse engineer these battery grips for these cameras. But I'm happy they're here. And here it is. So I'm not gonna show you how to attach it. It's the same thing for so many decades now. It's not rocket science. But once you get it on there, the balance of it between landscape and portrait mode feels fantastic. Once you have a battery in there, the balance feels great. There's no difference to, I think, an official grip. Obviously, the fit and feel of it is a little bit different, but the balance feels great. Uh, I'm happy to report that everything works. The camera recognizes that there's a battery grip in there with two batteries, uh, all the buttons work. Um, you can take photos, you can take videos. There's no horrifying screeching sounds. Everything works just fine. So uh, that is good enough already, right? But if you wanna go down to the details, the fit and finish, the feel of it is a little bit different. So I don't have the official grip, but I do have the official camera. So uh, I'm just gonna see what the difference is between these two uh, grips here. So when I hold the Canon one, it feels a lot smoother. The rubber feels a lot smoother. Whereas on the third party grip, the rubber feels a lot more tacky. Um, can't say it's good or bad, it just feels a little bit different. And then the hard plastic on the official Canon one also feels a lot smoother. Whereas on the third party one, it's kind of a rougher texture. It's not sharp, it's not gonna scratch you, but it feels like for the Canon one, they took a high grit sandpaper and sanded it down so it feels smoother. Whereas on the third party one, they didn't bother doing that. So the buttons on the third party battery grip feels completely different from the Canon ones. So the Canon ones feel, I don't wanna say mushy, kind of a nice mushy, you know? Uh, it feels like it's dampened. It feels like there's something behind the button that's kind of sort of cushioning the button as you push into it. Whereas on the third party one, there's a very defined click to every single button. You can kind of hear it. It does feel a little bit cheaper. It feels kind of hollow behind the button, um, especially the shutter. You know, the Canon shutter feels nice. It's like a, a dampened half press and then full press. You don't hear clicks whatsoever, but on the third party one, it's a very obvious half press click, full press click, half press click, full press click. The dials feel not great. Um, there's no rubber tactile-ness to them whatsoever. It's just a hard plastic dial um, and it kind of slips sometimes. You, sometimes you don't really get a grip on it and you know when you're trying to change something it, it doesn't actually rotate. Sometimes you want to rotate one notch but then it ends up being three notches so it's not the best. The fit and finish of the grip also isn't the best as well, but I think that's very minor. I mean, where the rubber meets the hard plastic, uh, some areas looks fantastic. And there's some areas where there's little bits of gaps. There's some areas where 
I don't want to say it's peeling, it's still, you know, glued to the grip, but it's sort of like, you know, peeling up a little bit. There's some areas that looks like they didn't even bother cutting or trimming the grip. It looks like they just kind of tore it apart. Um, so it doesn't look the best, but I mean, I think that's very minor. You just have to really like look closely and nitpick in order to see those details. Last but not least, the text on the grip looks nothing like the one on the official Canon one. The font is different. The text size is different. I don't think they even remotely care to try to match the two. So that's kind of, um, you know, a little bit bothersome, you know, especially if you're OCD and you want them to look the same, they don't. I do appreciate that they've made a lot of very similar imitations to the official Canon ones. Uh, like for example, there's a little nib here um, where you rest your thumb, which is on the Canon grip. It's also here as well. Um, the joystick on the third party grip also is raised and angled upwards slightly. Again, very similar to the official Canon one um, for ergonomic reasons. Uh, and I like how they actually have the rotary on off dial here, which again matches the official Canon one. There's some third party grips that's act that actually has a toggle, an on off toggle, but then there's some that has this rotary on off switch, which I actually quite like, it's nice. It actually looks, you know, it matches the overall aesthetics of the camera. Overall, the important thing is that it works. You can take photos, it doesn't screech. And I think that's really all that matters. Again, remember, you're paying one third of the cost of the official one. So, you know, with these little nitpicky things, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. So in terms of longevity, is this gonna last a long time? Is the grip gonna peel off? The rubber is gonna peel off the grip? Can't say for sure. I mean, to be perfectly honest, even on the official Canon ones, I've seen the rubber peeling off as well. It just depends on how much you use your camera. So that's something that, you know, only time will tell. So the important thing is that it works and it works great. So. Happy to report that this is very much worth your money. And that's my thoughts on the third party battery grips for the Canon R5, Canon R6, Canon R5C, and potentially Canon R6 Mark II. If you guys disagree with me, that's okay. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time.